Good morning, guys. Well, we are back here at Lake Berryessa. This is definitely my lake of choice as of as of lately. The last two times I've been here, been an absolute killer top water bite. There we go. That's a nice one. Sounded like a bowling ball falling out of the sky. Pretty cool. Yeah, they say don't uh, don't leave fish to find fish. Well, that's kind of the same deal as far as this lake and this spot. I mean, there are other places I could fish, but I mean, as good as the bite's been these, la these last two trips, on top in like a foot of water, I mean, I have to keep coming back until it, it dies off and it's just too much fun. That being said, it is a new day. Will this bait hold up? I don't know, I'm hoping it does, but if it doesn't, we obviously have plenty of backups behind us to throw. But yeah, that's today's video. A day on the water, hopefully some top water action, but uh, we shall see what happens. Oh, that's a good sign. <laughs> that's a very nice sign. No second chances again though. Good one. Uh, I just can't get over how good this bite is. Not a bad one. I'll take that as a good sign. Nice fat fish to start. Not a giant, but a fat one. Out of work. Maybe it's gonna be another one of those days. I certainly hope so. Oh. Yep, they are still super shallow. Some of these might be little fish. I'll show you the follow-up bait that we have planned for today. I really tried. I fished this bait for the first time the other day. Drop shot now instead of a net rig. A little TRD craw, weedless. See if it's any good as a follow-up bait. Oh, there we go. Oh! Oh, he's got it again. Oh! What? I might have the wrong hook for this little craw. I don't know. This, I think this hook's a little bit too big for this. That's my only weedless drop shot hook right now. There we go. Oh, man. You know what? This is a good little bait. It's the wrong hook. Oh, busting out there. I see him busting. Which is not show. It's the first time I've seen him bust, really. Out a little deeper. Oh man, look at all the bait out here. Holy crap, there's a lot of bait out here. <sighs> this thing should get crushed. I'm just mowing through this huge thing of bait here. Tell you what, we brought some other stuff. difference. I know these fish are here. That's the crazy thing is there's a ton of bait here. What do I throw? Right in front of me. They're taunting me. Let's see if this, one, this rig works. Come on now. It's so frustrating, like being around so many fish and I can't get them to bite. It's <sighs> gotta find the right bait. I do, I do wish I had an A rig with me right now, though I think an A rig would destroy these fish. Such a tease.
came back to the spot we started where we missed a couple and we got this guy to bite uh, about the same size as that first one huh all right guys 8 30 been on the water for about two and a half hours fishing only two in the boat I mean, it just really wasn't happening over there. Wasn't seeing a ton of activity, or I was, but I just wasn't able to get those fish to commit. That shallow topwater bite just didn't seem to be working out. So we're making a gamble. We're crossing the lake. Total transition in tactics. We're gonna go fish deep now. Oh my God. Hey, get out of my spot. <laughs> Wait, you just caught that? Do you hear me screaming? No. I just caught a 10-pounder, bro. Come here. Oh my god, dude. Check this thing out. Holy crap. Oh my god. That's an over 10-pounder, dude. I've been waiting yet, but... I think... Uh, that's not 10. Dude, that's an at least 8 or 9, I think. I, I wouldn't know. I've never caught a 10. I, I've caught some 8s. I think it's 10, dude. I don't know. I have no clue. That's insane. But look at that. Yeah, dude. Oh, that's a cool little bait. Dude. Can I have one? <laughs> look at this hook. And this bait right here. Look at what it did to that hook. It was not that shape before. Eric Martinez is a uh, torque minnow. That's the three inch prototype. Oh so there's God. only like 10 of these, <laughs> oh period. <my> <laughs> I'm getting nine. Yeah, I think mine's about six ounces off. Nine one. Oh, dude. 24. Oh my God, dude. Yeah, that's good. Nine pounder, Mariessa. All right, my turn for a nine pounder. Or maybe I'll just make it a 12. Wrong. Yeah, you're right, they are here. They're there, dude. Yep. Yep, man. <laughs> oh, that's fun. They're busting around here too. Here we go. Smally, dude. Nice smally. Forget how big these smallmouth are in here. Oh no! What am I doing? <sighs> Went to grab the net, gave up a little bit of tension, and she shook. Rookie mistake right there. Dude, if that was a bass, it was huge. Oh, that's a big one, dude. I got a big one. Unless it was hung up. I think that's big. Oh, yeah. No. It's a big smallmouth. Not huge, but large. Yeah, it's not as big as I thought he was. Nice long one, though. Pushing up on the back. There we go. Garbage hook set. Man, why am I the smallmouth guy today? Look at the skinniness on that. Dude, look at that. It's emaciated. 
It's Mr. Paper. Oh my gosh, dude, he swallowed the thing. That's a piece of paper. That is so thin. Poor fella. That is the skinniest. That might be one of the skinniest, like, lengthwise. I mean, it's like, it doesn't even look... Well, oh my god, dude. It's like a rectangle. <laughs> Looks pretty good like that, though. Oh my gosh, I gotta let this poor fella back in. That's a skinny, skinny guy. <laughs> what? That's weird. <laughs> Oh, we found a little school of them. Nice. Yeah, this jig bite's fun. Ooh, guys, we got the, uh, got the slam today. Got the largey, the smallie, now the spot. I've only done that maybe a couple other times in my life. Of course, you're not going to fish too many lakes where there's all three species. It's pretty cool though. All right, that is going to do it for today's video. Very strange day. First and foremost, congrats to Tyler on a new PB. 9-1. 24 and a quarter. 24 and a quarter. Just the tank. So that was cool. My highlight was probably catching the thinnest fish I've ever caught in my life. I mean, that was like probably a 17 inch smallmouth. Nine pounder, nine ouncer. Yeah, it was a flag. I could have used it as a, like a safety flag. That is going to do it for the video. As always, thank you guys for watching. Congrats to this guy right here, nine yonder. Catch you later.